Hello everybody, my name is Dominique Baron. welcome back to Wiser Gaming. Today we're going to be playing a game called Always Sometimes Monsters. And yes, I did play this and that is why the continue button is kind of highlighted right now. But I just got in and I messed around with it a little bit to see if it was worth recording and personally, I think it is. I think it actually looks like a pretty good game. I didn't get too far into it, so I'm uncertain, but from like the beginning, it seemed very nice. So let's get in and play it. New game. It's a game about choice. Your choices affect this game. I don't know much of the story yet, but I know some things. Stop! Wait! Where the hell do you think you're running off to without me? I'm the boss, so you don't make a move until I tell you what to do. Got it? Urgh. Thought I told you already. Once I'm paid, then we're through. I don't need you controlling me anymore. No, you ain't finished working yet. There's plenty of people I still need killed. You don't get a say in anything until I decide you're done spilling blood. Yeah, I think they're mafias or something. You checked- or assassins or some shit. You checked that privilege at the door when you signed up for this job. Here, I make the rules. Here, I decide what happens. That's what you signed up for, right? Hey, what did I just tell you? You ain't going anywhere unless I say so. I'm moving him, by the way, forward. I'm telling you, you're making a mistake. Don't do something we'll all regret. And I can't go back, I have tried. Excuse me, sirs. Got a minute? Or a dollar? Hard times all around. Smelly vagabond fuck, get the hell out of my way. I still don't like that. We don't have anything for you. Oh, I've heard that one before. Probably from you, too. Different day, different street. Who knows, maybe we used to know each other. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Winding up back here again. God damn. Are you fucked in the head? Oh, boy. Get the hell out of my way. Right, we gotta keep things moving along. Before you go, though, there is something I, w something I think you ought to look at. The hell is this? Yeah, the cheering music isn't ha happening while two mafia member are being held at gunpoint. But no, get this type of music. We're good. <laughs> well, you might say I've been expecting you. Does it feel familiar standing on this end of the barrel? Or would you feel more comfortable with your own piece drawn? Go ahead, I'll wait. That's right, aim it right between my eyes. The hell do you want, you nut job? What do I want? I like playing games, don't you? Yes, I do. What do you say in giving mine a spin? I don't know what this fool's smoking, but if he d doesn't put that gun down right now, you will put a hole in his head. Of course, you can hurry this along if you like, and we can all be done with it if you wish. Like any of this matters, I want to tell you a story, though. One about the many choices we all make. At the end of it, you can decide what to do. The only rule in the game? Let me finish. No interruptions. Then, the choice is yours. Or we can pull the trigger right now. Sounds a lot less time-consuming, doesn't it? Either way, the choice is yours. We're gonna listen. If you won't put that gun down, fine. Talk fast. There are many roads between yours and mine, but all roads start from the source. And this is where I kind of stop it. As I said, I didn't get far into it. You ever been dragged to a party by someone? Thank God, no. What if that party was life itself, led by the nose, barely wanting to take part? Did you even have the choice not to go? It would take something miraculous to change you. But, would you know the opportunity when knocked? Fair weather friends are sometimes hard to sort. A man with opportunity to spare knows this best. One such man had opportunity through a party. He was looking for someone special, important. Not a lover, not a friend. He was looking for someone of substance. 
Whether it was the right choice or not, that's still up for debate. That night they toasted ambition, success, and more. Little did they know how steep the mountain was. Ooh, color. Oh, I get to move. Come on, hurry up. Or did you change your mind? You can't invite all these people over and just leave me to take care of them, Larry. They're all weird. Why can't you have normal friends? They are all work friends. Writers, artists, wannabes. You know, like the ones I was telling you about. Boss wants me to sign someone by next week, but I still haven't got a clue what I'm looking for. Well, just pick someone who's gonna do a good job. I don't want you getting fired up over some fuck up. This apartment's way too nice for that. Yeah, okay, I love you too. Ooh, so do I get to choose someone? I kinda like her, I kinda like this person over here. She's kinda cute. She's cute. This person's cute too. What is going on with you? Ooh, you're cute! Hey, you're the host of this party, right? Yeah, I am. Can I get you anything? Well, I was wondering if you had any unoccupied bedrooms around here. Uh, I don't think so. Why? Oh. <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> oh, never mind. Durkov's brought his van anyway. Great. Uh, have fun? Oh, I will. Okay. So it looks like I don't get to choose. Ooh, hello. Larry, congratulations, I heard about the new job. Well, there's still a lot to do. Nonsense, let's toast to your success. Can I interest you in some white wine? I'll only be having one drink tonight. White wine does sound lovely, though. All right, let's drink. Give me a second to run to the patio. There's someone I want you to meet. Always happy to meet the ball and chain. Don't go anywhere, Larry. I'll be back from the patio before you know it. Oh, yay, I'm her! So this must be the patio. Hmm. Ooh, look at your hair, girl. Your hair looks like it goes red. Who are you? Hey, did you get a chance to talk to Larry yet? Yeah, I just spoke to him. He's waiting on me. Okay, so I get to choose a girl. I get to choose a girly. He's waiting on me. Okay. So if when the moment I say he's waiting on us is when they... <gasps> he's waiting on us. <laughs> I just thought she was really cute. <laughs> We're going to toast that bottle we brought. That's amazing. <laughs> what are we waiting for? This is the perfect opportunity to bring up that book you and Sam are working on. I didn't even look at any of the guys. <laughs> did, you, did you think Sam will, will mind pitching our book alone? I mean, it'd be, I'd be kind of pissed if I was left out of the negotiations. You can worry about that later. If you don't get in there and butter him up now, you'll be drafting forever. I guess you're right, but we gotta make it happen first. Come on, you got the gift? Shit, we forgot to sign the card. Here, give it to me. I'll sign it first. Oh, I can put in my name. Nice. What name do I give the other person? Mm. If I can. Oh, I can. Okay. That's nice. Uh. Uh. Rename her. Hold on, hold on. Escape. Nina. Oh. Nina. F no. Sincerely, Dominique and Nina. Let's. Let me see that for a second. Sounds perfect. I'm guessing not quite sure means if you want to go back and change the name. All right, Nina. Let's go. Wait, kiss me first. Oh, I so cute. Good luck. Oh, okay, so that was the intro. Nice! Yay, I like this. So Larry, before we toast, 
Let me guess, you've got a book you wanted to pitch? Just hear me out! No need, Dominique. There's a reason I'm toasting with you, I've seen your stuff. You got talent, a lot of potential, but you're rough. Shouldn't have put my name on there then. I want to put a good word in with the boss, see if we can get you in advance. That's, that's crazy! Seriously, thank you so much. I'll get you something to show him in the morning. This is too exciting. Let's toast. To ambition, to success, to getting rich. I'll toast. To great partners, to world domination, to the future, to not screwing up. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> to world domination. It really didn't matter who set things in motion. The landslide had started long before that night. This version of the story needed a hero, though. Would this be the one? What if I had no? Sure. I can be a hero. One year later. Wow. That was sudden. A Dubstown apartment. Dubstown. Am I hearing a horn? Someone owns a bicycle horn on their bike in there outside. Choice is an evaluation of cost and benefits. Circumstance dictates the evaluation. Consequence takes care of the rest. In this system, there can be no right or wrong. Look at me, I'm all cute. I can't move. What time did I get in last night? Shit! Looks like my people sleep monitor got reset. I gotta go get to sleep when this thing tells me to. I was halfway to earning my one month circadian master sleep achievement. Let me just cycle through in the modes and reset this thing. There we go, all set. They say the longest journey starts with a single step. Look at me all cute. Look at me all cute. Okay. Looks like there's a few notes under my door. A tenant. Attention tenant of apartment 104. Your rent has not been received as of this notice. As a result and according to your lease, this balance must be paid immediately or you will be evicted. Your current balance is 500. Must be paid up immediately to avoid further action. Please speak with the building management as soon as possible to avoid further issues. Sincerely, management. 30 days overdue. Pay up, deadbeat. Oh, wow. It's always something, isn't it? Come to see if you wanted to get coffee at, before work at the Phoenix, but you were asleep. Don't be late, man. I vouched for you, and my manager hates slackers. Well, at least I've got a job for today. Hello, old lady. Where is it? I know it's in here. Excuse me, Mrs. Tulegger. Oh, pardon me, Dominique. Am I in your way? I got so distracted looking through my purse for my little calendar. There's never enough time in the day, you know? I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. There's never enough time to do everything you want to. That is so true. Heck, I don't even have enough time to pay my rent these days. Y you should make time. I seriously think I'm done for this time. Where's your roommate? Yeah, where's Nina? Things uh, didn't work out, but she was so cute! Ah, it's just me now. That's a real shame. You're such a good kid. Tell you what, if you need money, why don't you come by my place later today? I'm hosting a little get-together tonight, and the place needs to be spotless. It'd be lovely to have some help. Thank you. Thank you for the offer. I can use all the help I can get. Well, you know where to find me. Just come by any time today. Don't wait too long, though, or I'll get it all done by myself. Have a good day, Dominique. I hope you find what you need. Okay, so I know where to find her. She's in 406.
I do like the music, though. Cheap-ass landlord. The light's been a problem for months. Sounds like the landlord's on the phone. With these lights off, I might be able to slip out of here undetected. Shit. Hold it, you mangy punk! You really think I wouldn't notice you just b because the lights are off? I had that clap-on, clap-off thing installed last week. Shit. What? Just where the hell do you think you're going? You're in a lot of trouble, punk. You're a whole month late on your rent, and I'm not in the business of sheltering deadbeats. Are you gonna pay me what you gonna pay what you owe me, or am I gonna have to toss your ass out to the curb? You're serious about evicting me, huh? Give me time. I just need some time. I've been waiting on my check from, from I've been waiting on a check from my publisher. As soon as it arrives, I can pay you. Yeah, it's not here, is it? Look, the check's going to be here soon. It's got to be here soon. Just give me until the mail's been delivered, okay? I don't care how many tricks you gotta turn out to pay. You're out of time, hood rat. Pay me 500 by the end of the day or you can consider yourself officially homeless. In fact, you know what? Hand over your key right now. You can get it back from me when you pay your bills. No. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? I told you to hand over that key. So you want me to just give me... No! I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. And also, uh, no. Screw you, man. You're not getting my key. What are you gonna do, deadbeat? Just run away from all your problems? How's that been working out for you? I'm out. I don't need this shit. You're an asshole, you know that? Catch you later, old man. Hi! What's going on, girl? I'm good, Bellinger. Hanging around like usual, I see. I've got no need to walk around when I can see the whole city from right here. Sounds productive. That dick of a landlord wants $500 for rent. He even wanted me to hand over my key. I said screw it and ran out on him, though. Dang, that sucks. Well, I'm broke, so I can't help you with cash. I did find this rare indie hero's figure in the trash this morning while I was digging for breakfast. It's probably worth a few bucks if you want to pawn it off. Or you could try to get all 60 of them like me. Bellinger gave you a station wagon. Thanks, Belly. At this point, anything helps. If you ever get lost, come see me. I know these streets like the back of my red golf shirt. Okay. So... You gotta find some place to pawn this off. Oh, hello, sir. Can I talk to you? Oh, I can. Hey there, pretty lady. Got a second to invest in a sandwich. I'm trying to focus on a sandwich. I haven't eaten yet in at least seven days. Sorry. No. If I find a sandwich, I'll bring it. Oh, hi, guy. Yo, you're blocking up the whole street with that fat ass of yours. Move it, fatty. Jesus, what an asshole. Okay. Ooh, hello. This is the hottest club in town. I've been lined up all day long. I ain't moving for anything. Ooh, hello. Hey, cutie. You look like a girl with good taste. What do you think of my new dress? It cost me a fortune, but I think it hot. it's hot. Looks great. Yeah, looks great. Definitely worth the money on a body like that. Ooh, I'm flirting with her. Oh, I like the way you talk. My name's Haley, by the way. So, uh... I was looking for someone to do me a favor. I don't see why it couldn't be you. Well, that all depends on what you need. You know Dirty Dawn over by the pawn shop? Oh god. How's this gonna go? I heard he's got these tabs. Happy pills, I think he calls them. <laughs> that makes you feel like you're having the most hurt. <laughs> With god. <laughs> Sounds intense. If I give you 50, could you go pick some up for me? I know it's silly, but I don't want to lose my place in line. Sure. How many pills? That should be enough to buy 10, so bring them all back. Might even share with you if we party later. Oh, sure, dude. Sounds easy. I'll be right back. Wait, there's one more thing. Don's got some trust issues. You're gonna need this. Haley gave you a sealed envelope. 
what's that? It's just a little message from me to him, you know? To prove you're cool and not a cop and all that, right? Well, obviously. Keep it sealed until you see him or he'll be suspicious. When you get there, open it and read it out to him. Simple stuff. Gotcha. Have fun waiting in line. Okay, so we gotta find the pawn shop, because that's where he'll be. Outside it. If I had remembered to bring my poetry scrapbook with me today, I could have read you some of it. Then again, you'd probably hate it. I like poetry. Now that's a pawn shop, so you must be... Yeah. Hey, hey, welcome to Dirty Dawn's Popcorn Sand, where I sell fresh popcorn and absolutely nothing else. Bullshit. So, uh, you sell anything else? I've got this envelope or something from this girl I'm supposed to be seeing you for. Well, what are you waiting for? Open it, damn it! You open the sealed envelope. It says... Well, go on! Read it! I like big books and I cannot lie. <laughs> Your, you other brothers can't deny that when a girl walks in with an itty big waist and wrap it in your face. Oh, buddy, that's enough. You don't have to sing the rest of the song. I know why you're here now. What the hell was that? I'm in the same boat. Oh, all my orders come as hip-hop lyrics. Helps keep, for keep the cops from figuring things out. That sounds like you need some happy pills. Yeah, I do. So give it to me. Now what's a girl like you need happy pills for? They're for a friend. I need $50 worth of them pronto. No problem at all. I was just thinking though. Would you like to save 30? Same number of pills and everything. That math doesn't add up. What's the catch? Oh, nothing shifty or anything like that. They're just local artisan pills. They're made from these eco-friendly toxins. I'm no genius, but I'm pretty sure that toxins aren't all that safe for human consumptions. Yes, but I also said eco-friendly. It totally balances things out. Well, I guess that makes sense. So what will it be, loyal Patreon? Spend 50 and get what you asked for, or spend 20 and save the whales? Give me the good stuff. I don't know what's going on. I don't know wh how my friends feels about whales. S s I, I like whales! Don't get me wrong! But I... I f no. Well, to each their own, I suppose. You gave Dawn $50 for drugs. Dawn gave you happy pills. I'm out of product at the moment. I might have some later, though, so don't be a stranger. Oh, boy. Who are you? Admiring my ride? Yeah, it's a pretty sweet truck, if I do say so myself. Maybe we could take a spin in it together sometime. No. Can I please move? Yo, hit me up later. I gotta go. What was that? Hmm. Alright, who are you? I can't seem to catch a break with that blasted lotto machine over there. I must have lost at least a hundred dollars by now, but you gotta spend money to make money. What lotto machine are you talking about, dude? That one over there beside the ATM. Yeah, if I had money, I'd do that. Yo, welcome to Dubs Dubstown Dick's Pawn Plus. Take a look around. Sell, uh, where is my station wagon. There we go. I got money. Uh, X, X, X. Bye bye. I have a sandwich in my back pocket. I can go get the guy a sandwich. Hello. Hey there, pretty lady. Got a sir? Yeah, 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 yeah. Here you go, pal. A fresh sandwich on the house. You gave the man a sandwich. There you go. Hey, thanks a lot. If our minds are constantly reworking themselves with every new experience, are you the same person I started asking this question to? Do you not hurt me, please? Are you gonna say the same thing, or? Hey, out of my way, I've got places to be. Yeah, he's an asshole, okay. So, did you get the good stuff yet, honey? I want to try a happy pill before the show. Yeah, I got you the good stuff. You're going to be tripping balls for sure. That's not what she's using them for. I feel all warm and fuzzy. I just want to touch you all over. Why don't you take the spare key to my flat? Maybe you could 
get up to something after the show. It's just across the street, so you can't miss it. Okay, I'll think about it. Don't keep me waiting, though. I want to... You're cute, though. So, I'll come see you tonight. This must be your place. Ooh, construction worker. Hello. Sorry, lady. All the bridges from here to... Torreville are closed for maintenance or something. Or something. Thanks. Oh, it's a raccoon. Can I talk to a raccoon? You best get out of here before something bad happens to you. Excuse me? Loctite. I guess they don't want people stealing scraps. There's a lot to do right now. Probably not a good time to sleep. Yeah, this is where you will be sleeping if you can't manage to get money. Hey, oh, who are you? I threw a dollar into the fountain yesterday wishing for riches, but I don't think it worked. I checked my wallet today, and I'm still about a dollar short. Ooh, this is the fountain? Can I just steal from the fountain? I'll probably need some fishing gear if I want to catch any fish. Ah, oh, right. Maintenance. Gas leak. Okay, so... Hello, dude. There, there really aren't enough police in town, if you ask me. And we have an overabundance of homeless. Maybe we could start offering jobs on the force to a few of those vagrants and get this town cleaned up for sh good. Uh. Oh, dear lord, is that blood? Is that an old man? Oh, hello there, fine lady. Uh... God, there are. Well, let's talk to you again. Hey, girl, what's new? I'm trying to decide if I should go to the Phoenix and help my buddy, or check in with Mrs. Tailwagger about the dinner party. Well... Maybe I can check in with her after. Is it one or the other? Because this is my job. Maybe I'll get a, and I'll end up getting a paycheck for it. Or something. I don't know. So let's just let's go just go to our job first. I've had a lot of good memories here at the Phoenix. Dirkoff should be waiting for me inside. Whoa, lady. We ain't open yet. Excuse me? I said we're closed, woman. We're expecting a crew. Where's Dirkoff? Look, I'm working here today. Is Durkoff around? You're the ditz that everyone's been waiting on then. Durkoff's in the main room, so I'd get my ass over there if I were you. I'll just stand here and watch you from behind. Could you not? Oh, so you're Durkoff. Hello. And the dead rise. You're late too. Did Benny give you any trouble at the door? No, he let me right through. Some bouncer he is. How you've been? You pumped for the show? I'm nervous. Really nervous. This is my first big show since I split with Viper. And I don't know how the how well it's gonna go without her. I know what you mean. Not a day goes by where I don't wonder how different my life would be if she hadn't left so suddenly. Jesus, we're on this shit again? Look, Nina left you what? A year ago? It's time to move on, don't you think? You're right. I'm hooking up with Haley later. It's just not that easy for me. I don't know if you've noticed, but life's been kinda shitty for me ever since she left. How long are you going to blame her for everything? Seriously, you've got to take some responsibility. Remember, she left you because of what you did. Oh, You know what? Fuck you. Not all of us are happy to be rid of our ex. Not all of us dated self-destructive junkies. Not cool, man. All I'm saying is that since I left Viper, I'm realizing how it's the choices we make that define us. Am I worried about the choices that I've made? Totally. And I'm ter am I terrified that my music's been shit since I quit? Sure. At least I've made a choice, man. You'll be fine. Everyone's really proud of you for getting off that stuff. Not everyone, man. Seems like my fans prefer when my sound's all fucked up. Part of me thinks they're right. They're wrong. That's nonsense. Everyone's just scared of change. A manager makes a lot of money from you. I'm sure you sound fine. I appreciate it, but you haven't heard me since I kicked the stuff. I'm just nervous is all. Kinda wish I had some to calm my nerves. Oh well, my burden to bear. Here's the layout for the equipment. 
Try to follow it exactly. I've got enough to worry about tonight. Since you slept in, we don't have any time to redo anything, so make sure you get it right the first time. Are you kidding me? I don't have a pencil! Okay, so... The four things there, big ones there. Drum, guitar, thing, guitar, piano. <sighs> the gear's in these boxes here. All you've got to do is put the stage. Seriously, I'm a monkey you do this job, so you better not mess up. Get it perfectly, I'll give you a hundred. I'll do my best. I'll head backstage and work the spotlights for you. Okay, so you picked up the guitar. Your hands are already full. Okay, so guitar. Uh. Uh-huh. This better be a damn good show. Mm -hmm. Pick up the bass. No, no. Yeah. I hope I put that together right. Oh god. <laughs> Me too. You picked up the drums. I knew the drums go in the back. Here? Mm -hmm. Can we build it? Yes, we can. Don't fucking go bob the builder on me. Hey, hey, Dominique. G come give me a hug. Viper! What are you doing here? I thought you and Derekoff split. You sure he's cool with you hanging around here before a show? Trust me, if I know Derekoff, he's missing me like crazy right now. He probably already told you so, hasn't he? Yeah, I guess he did. He's real nervous about the show. I figured as much, which is why I brought him a little present. It's a... Are you crazy? You out of your goddamn mind? Dirk has been doing so well. What the hell is wrong with you? Hey, I'm not forcing the needle in his arm. Nobody is. He's a big boy and he doesn't need you making his decisions for him. If he's nervous about the show and this helps him calm down, then who are we to get in his way? It's bad for you! I don't care if it calms you down! I don't! Get the fuck out. You know what? Get the fuck out of here right now, you goddamn junkie. Jerkoff left you for a reason. What don't you understand about that? Go fuck yourself, Dominique. You don't know the first thing about Jerkoff. What he needs or what he loves. You don't know a fucking thing about love. Good luck with the fucking show. If my baby bombs, it's all your fault. What a psycho. I liked Viper. I did. I didn't want to be so mean to her. God damn. He quit it. He quit it. Let him be good. This better be right. Connect cable A to... Wait, that's not right. <laughs> well, that's about as good as it's gonna get, I guess. Well, how did it go? Take a look for yourself. Well, what do we have here? I'm gonna go put this away. We'd get in a lot of trouble if someone found a bag of hair or went on the floor during a concert. Damn fine work! Yes! It's so weird that I get to walk on stage with everything just the way I like it. Seriously, kudos to you. Here's the hundred dollars, I promise you. You earn every penny of it. Thanks, man. Anything to help with the show? I can always count on you. Benny said Viper swung by earlier. Did you talk to her at all? Was she looking for me? Yeah, she did. Stop by. Really? She didn't leave anything here, did she? Yeah, you already got it. That crazy junkie nearly took my head off with her bag of smack. You sure you don't want me to hold on to that stuff for you? I can get rid of it if you'd like. I'll be okay. Seriously, I appreciate the concern, though. I was gonna come across it again sooner or later. Well, I guess I gotta go get ready for the show. Feel free to come back to the cub a little later if you're interested in working coat check. We're short staff and could use you. Just talk to Benny at the door when you're ready to get started. Hey, Dominique, you're a good friend. Thank you. 
I guess that's a day's work. I hope I made the right call with Durkoth. He's really been there for me this past year. Yeah, this is towards the bathroom. You can do this, man. You don't need that crap anymore. You don't need her anymore, either. Oh, Dominique. You didn't hear that, did you? Yeah, I did. You're right, though. You don't need that junk anymore. You're a good di you're a goddamn rock star, not a junkie. <laughs> Thanks, Dominique. You've been a real good friend this past year. Even when your tips are down, you've been there for me. Thanks for looking out for me. No problem. You do the same for me. I'll go do something stupid. I will smack you. Okay. Let's go see if we can help. What a strange night. I still can't believe Viper showed up like that. Maybe I should stick around for the concert and help with the coat check. Then again, Miss... Yeah, let's go see her. I'm gonna go see if she needs, still needs help. get a hundred dollars. I don't know how we're gonna get five hundred. Okay. Wonder still needs my help. I hope I'm not too late to lend a hand. Then again, Darkoth did mention I could work. No? Who could that be? Hello? Who's there? It's me, Dominique. Oh, come right in. I'm here to clean up. Oh, you're a little late for that, Dominique. It's all right, though. I managed to get it all done myself. Still, I'm very glad you came. You're such a good kid. Well, then, I guess you don't need me, then? I was just about to sit down to dinner. Would you care to join me? Hmm, I was thinking of go work down at the club. I am pretty hungry, though. Uh, in that case, I've got to go. I've got to make money. I've got to go, unfortunately. No time to skip out on work, I'm afraid. I think I'll have to pass, unfortunately. That's quite all right. I understand. Take care. Damn it. Thought I could still help. Well, a job's a job, though, so... Maybe I'll get paid. I don't know where the hell I'm going. This guy said hit me up later, so... Let me talk to him real quick. I want to see... Girl, I knew you couldn't keep away. Come back later, though. I'm in the middle of some serious business with my Uncle Don. Ah, gotcha. Hey, thank you. Avoid you at all costs. And we will go right on in. Hello, I'm back. Oh, look who's back. Really hope you did a good job setting up for the show tonight. Good show means more horny ladies for me to. <sighs> no! Uh huh. Yeah. Sure, man. Why not? Folks will be coming in, and our and your job is to hang up their damn jackets. When you do that, you'll give them a ticket and you, for a retrieval later. You only get paid in tips, so try to avoid wasting everyone's time by remembering where you stored each coat. Also, try not to be a total jackass you usually are. People don't like tipping jackasses. Lastly, don't even think about stealing from people's pockets. There's no security back there, but if I find out you're a thief, I'll throw you on your goddamn ass. Right, now get to work. Eh. Depending on how much money people have. They finally let us in. I thought they were going to make us wait out there forever. It's worth the wait. I'll go hang up your coat. 6-5. Six, 6-5 five. Six, five in the front. Hey, it's you. Thanks for making that delivery earlier. I already feel all warm and glowy, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Have fun. Your ticket is number 6-6. Six, six, right after 6-4. Six, oh, 
Hello, guy. Do that. Coat checks are like val valets, but for clothes. So true, bro. I'll take care of your jacket. You're taking number six seven. Right after six six. Fine. Hello, old man. Hey, I deadbeat. I thought you skipped out on me. You better come and see me after this show, and you better have money. Remember, if you don't have 500 before you come home, you'll be sleeping on the streets like the scum you are. What the hell kind of music is this anyway? You kids today are so damn weird. I'm going to stick around a bit and make sure you don't bail. Yeah, yeah, old man. You're taking number 6 8. What is. Whoa, do that. It's a little too intense for me right now. Think you grab my sports utility vest? My tick my ticket is six seven. I know what your ticket was. It's not. Fine, here. It's the old man's coat, so I really don't give a shit. <laughs> You've been here all night. Any fine honeys walking around there yet? <sighs> Don't be a creep. You're taking number six. Of course it would be. Of course it would be. Bye. Hello. If true love is devoid of superficiality, but all attraction is based on it, then how do you explain love at first sight? I'll let you figure that one out. You're taking number 70. Over here. Mm, poor guy, don't even have anything. Hello, Viper. Hiya, Dominique. What's shaking? Working hard, I see. Viper? I didn't give her a thing. 71, okay. That was weird. Fine, maybe I gotta interact with them first. That one wasn't 70. It's always a good time to invest in a sandwich. The man gave you a sandwich. Uh, thanks. Ugh. I gave your coat to someone. This noise is awful and my ears are ringing. I'll be waiting for you at the apartment. And beg, borrow, or steal, but you better have cash. See you later, deadbeat. What a jerk. There we go. Oh man, I'm gonna dance until my feet give out. We're gonna burn up the floor tonight, babe. You go, girl. Well, here's your ticket. 7 2. Through their problem. Hey, have you seen my girlfriend pass through here? She's really pretty. I think she might be here with another man. Can't say, don't care. Hey, good luck, buddy. Your coat ticket is 7 3. Like music, though. For you. Well, hey there, fellow cool person. I heard that this place was a cool hangout and probably possibly a good place to buy some sweet illegal drinks. Are you a cop? <laughs> Uh, what? That's crazy, man! <laughs> nah, I'm just an average cool stir like yourself looking to score some sweet illegal drugs. No cops here, fellow Coolian. Well, alright then, you're taking- You're just gonna let him slide? You know what? I'm not gonna fight that.
I'm, I'm never d gonna dance again. Please just give me my coat. I know. Oh, right. Hmm? Oh, thanks. Oh. Uh, hello, guy. Hey, do you see some girl lumping out of here? Hurry up and get my coat so I can catch up. Someone's gonna help her off. You're... You're weird. Go have fun. Looks like I got a 99 from the in investigative jacket and collections department. Time to collect my tips and check out the concert. They left me 150 in tips. I pit pocketed five times. Looks like a total donation of 99. So many people here. Oh, I'm here too. Oh, those are the people playing. Fair enough. Oh, look, Haley. I feel amazing, best happy pills ever. You're supposed to just talk with people. This concert kicks ass. I love this new age crap. Hipster magic music rules. Fellow cool person, I'm still looking to score some sweet illegal drugs. Know any other cool people? Dance with me, baby. Sure. You're the only one not dancing. Hi, I'm TV's Reeves Steely. Dirkhoff has never sounded better. La 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 Dirkhoff, over here, Dirkhoff, notice me, please, I'm your biggest fan. Notice me, senpai! My face is melting from the sweet rock and roll, baby. This is all so weird. I'm about to snap. I'm not sure how much more I can take. I'll leave. I'm so nervous for my baby. Good thing I took my medicine. He can't live without me. I am his medicine and he is mine. We used to tour. We used to tour with Jerkoff back in the day. Some of the shit we got up to would make a good book one day. What can I get for you, babe? No. Wait, what? Hold on. How much money do I have? Shit. Getting late. Leave the concert. Yes. I'm in trouble. It's getting pretty late and I'm beat. I should count on my pennies to see if I got enough to pay rent. Between, I've got a grand total of 387. That's not enough to be getting me back in my bed. Maybe I can scounge together a few more bucks, but it looks like I'll be sleeping under the stars tonight. I better go and find a comfy street mattress. Shit, man. This bed is spoken for. You best get out of here before something bad happens to you. I don't know. Maybe I'll just go sleep with Haley tonight. Hey, I'm fucked. Can I sleep with you? Ooh, it's you there. Hi, thanks again for getting me here. The pills are so good. Hey, are you alright? I'm fine, I'm fine. It's just, I just, the color sounds so loud, you know? It feels like they're coming out of me or in me or I don't. You okay? Ugh, look baby, I don't feel so good right now. Maybe I had too many to eat. Tomorrow I show you, yeah? Bye bye for now. You okay? Oh no, no, it's not tomorrow yet. We'll do the thing tomorrow when I'm better. <laughs> sure. Damn it. I'm fucked. I don't know how else to say this. Oh, that's a girl. Maybe... You best not be looking to sleep in my bed. I'll punch you all over and steal all your bread. Okay. Fair enough. Hello, doggy. And then someone sleeping in here, but not the old man. Who is it? Some people say sleeping under the stars is good for the soul. Those people usually don't park next to dumpsters, do they? No. Shit. I'm fucked. Dude, help me! Hey girl, what's new? It's been a long day, Bellbringer. I'm beat and heading to bed, wherever that may be this evening. Hey, 
If you can't get back into your apartment, I'm sure you can always find a dirty mattress somewhere in town. That is, if you can find one. Gas leak in the east moves a bunch of the local vagabonds over our side of the town. They seem nice enough, but I doubt any of them are likely to share the squatting spot. Maybe the... this guy? Oh shit, they're gone. Crap. Oh no. I don't have enough to pay rent. Oh, fountain. It's a lucky fountain. I can't steal from the fountain! <laughs> I know it sounds terrible, but I'm screwed. Can I just go back to my room? I can just go to my room. I didn't have to steal anything! I could've just gone to my room the entire time! Stupid landlord. Thinking you can just evict me, huh? Well, I still have my key. Nothing like outsmarting a smartass. Open sesame. He changed the lock! <laughs> what the? My key's not working. That son of a bitch changed the lock. Mrs. Tailwalker, I'm gonna need your help. No! I fucked up. I'm trying to negotiate. What do you want? I managed to scrape together 374. Do you think it would be enough so I don't have to sleep on the street tonight? You know what? I'm feeling nice today, so I would totally accept it. That's great. Thank you so much. I mean, I said I would. Just one small problem. Problem? What's that? that much to change a fucking lock yeah you out of your mind look dead beat that's the new deal you think you're all smart and actually have a choice in life you think you think yeah I'll just skip town and not pay my rent looks like the jokes on you now you can't do this to me I can't and I am see you around dead beat what just happened maybe I should just give him my key when I have the chance no Fuck. It's kind of dangerous and unsanitary. Should I sleep here tonight? Stay awake. Maybe something... Maybe there's something somewhere. I don't know. What's this? Regional apartments. Can I meet someone? Not think anyone is home. Nobody seems to be answering the door. Looks like someone's moving out. Why am I doing this? Ding! Hey, yeah, that's weird. I'm a weird person. I'm gonna leave now. Dude, do you have anything to say? I can give you one of my sandwich. Here you go, pal. Fresh sandwich on the house. Hey, thanks a lot. When dreams are as real as daylight, how can you be sure you've never really woken up? Don't. I said don't do that to me. Hey, dude. There really aren't enough words in the dictionary that could express just how dumb you look. Thank you. Looks like it's closed for the night. I have no choice but to sleep on that goddamn mattress. Unless you can help me out. Your therapist suggested going to the theater might help cheer me up, but honestly, it seems like a big waste of time to me. Oh, I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. Fine, I'm gonna go sleep on the mattress. God. Damn it. Yeah. Well, hopefully I won't die in my sleep. You'll be fine. Unless I just died.
Excuse me. Nina! Dominique, is that you? I'm on the balcony. Nina, you cutie! Well, look who's an early riser this morning. Are you okay? Did you sleep alright? I can't remember the last time you were up this early. Very funny. I'd sleep better if you didn't steal the blankets. Aw, oh, grumpy pants. I'm sorry. It's not even that early, though. Most people in the world get up before noon. You know, so they can work. Ugh, don't start with me already. Your dad already gave me an earful last night. Oh, relax, Dominique. You know you're welcome to stay as long as you like. Dad's just worried about us, that's all. The contract's gonna come soon. Don't stress out. Right, and once it does, we'll be able to move back to Dubstown. Dubstown. Start a new life together. I just hate waiting, that's all. I know, me too. What else can we do, though? Just relax. Take it easy. Your time is coming sooner than you think. You're right. I'm ready for this. Everything is going to work out just fine. One day, we'll look back on this and laugh. That's the spirit. Now give me a kiss before you get coffee breath. I know, right? There's a fresh pot downstairs if you want some. I love you, too. I can't move. Okay, there we go. Down the stairs. Who's that? Good morning, Casey. Good morning, Dominique. Do you know what happened to sausages I left in here for the other day? I can't wait. I can't, for the life of me, find them anywhere. Uh, no idea. Well, somebody ate them, and it wasn't me. I can pick something up at the airport, I guess. You'll give me a call when you land, right? It's a military base, Dominique. I'm sure, pretty sure I won't be allowed to. Besides, I won't be gone too long. Once we figure out what's going on with the scanners and why the EM readings at the polls are so strange lately, I'll be home in no time. Do me a favor and help out Nina. I don't want to thaw out in a messy house. Are you sure you were up for Antarctica? Nina will miss you. Oh, there's no reason to worry. I'll be cooped up in my lab all day. Apart from my assistants, there won't be a soul around for miles. You just keep your head in that book of yours. I really hope that contracts you've been waiting for, you've been waiting on, will come before I get back. Tell me about it. Well, that's my ride. See you when I see you, Dominique. Nina, I'm leaving. Come say goodbye. Shit, already? I'm in the bathroom. Hold on a second. I've got to go, Nina. They're waiting on me. Be good. I love you. Aww. Aww, poor Nina. Dad? Wait, I'm here. You left without saying goodbye? Yeah, the car was going to leave. Don't worry, Nina. Your dad's a tough son of a bitch. He'll be fine. Yeah, I guess you're right. Everything's going to be okay. Oh well, I gotta get back to work before I'm late. You be good, my brilliant little writer. You just go and have a good day at work. I love you. I love you too. Aww. Give me a call if the contract comes, alright? Yeah, for sure. What am I supposed to do? That's probably the contract, isn't it? Hope it is. Hmm, what do we have here? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. <gasps> this is it! The, there's the contract! The thing we've been looking for. Next. Holy shit, I can't believe the contract's here! Yes, I understand. Yes, I know. Yes, you explained. That's sh it's just that. We're sort of a team, you know? Two halves of a whole, peas in a pod. You know what I mean, right? It's just really important to me. I understand, Dominique. Sam's your partner, but the facts are the guys downstairs only like your pieces. Times are getting too tough. You know, business ain't what it used to be. They just don't have the money to spare on both of you. You can't afford to keep everyone you want. Look, take as long as you want to think about it. The deal stands as we've sent it, always will. 
We'll find you for the next six months so you can finish what you started, then we'll go to print. You sure you can keep up with that kind of pace? Yeah, don't worry. Great, then take as long as you want to think about it and give me a call once those papers are signed. Then I'll get the wife off my back and we can go for a celebratory drink. I'm buying. That sounds... great. Alright, I'll be waiting for your call. Speak with you soon. Shit. This is everything I ever wanted, right? Well, let's see. Should I call? You gotta call Nina. Tell her it came. So it came. You're kidding me, right? Finally! Yeah, it's right here in front of me. What's the matter? You don't sound excited. Did they change the payments or something? Not exactly. The deal's still fine. They just don't want to bring Sam into the picture. Like, at all. This is still great news. Sure, you don't get everything you want, but this is it. This is what you've been waiting for. So you have to do it without Sam. Big deal. Why can't you just take a minute and realize what achievement this is? You're right. I'm sorry. I've wanted this for a long time and now I've got it. Well, it's a pen stroke away still, but you know what I mean. Wait, you didn't sign it immediately? No, I wanted to get your opinion on the whole thing first. I wouldn't hesitate, honestly. This is going to be so good for you. This is going to be good for us. You're right, I'm sorry. Of course it's going to be good for us. We'll have the money to move and we won't be waiting anymore. That makes me so happy to hear. It's your choice though. Whatever you want to do, I support you. I know, I know. I love you too. Alright, I'm going to leave you to figure it out. I've got to get back to it if I, I gotta get back to it if I'm ever gonna get out of here. Don't wait up for me tonight, alright? We'll find time to talk after you've made a decision. Alright, have fun at work. <laughs> Not likely. Can we call Sam? Sorry, we cannot complete your call. Micro the macro shaft mobile customer you are trying to reach has run out of available credit on their account. Please hang up and try again later. Shit. It figures. What should I do? I need this deal. This is the right thing to do. I'm sorry, Sam. Oh! Day two. So how long is this game? Oh, that dream felt so real. Ugh, far from reality though. I wonder what she's doing now. I'm gonna start writing in my journal again. You completed a journal page. Let's save. Day two, couple bank balance journals. Okay, can we go into items? No, hold on. Uh, and Z, Skepa. There we go. Items. Journal page. Twenty nine. Blank pages from my journal. Oh, I gotta see a completed one. Gotcha. The sum of all my sins. My completed journal pages. At least maybe the mail's here? Whoa, deadbeat. You look even more like shit than normal. That curbside nap teach you to pay your bills yet? I'm just here to get my mail and the stuff out of my apartment, then I'm gone. Heh, <laughs> yeah, right. You still owe me for the last month's rent, so I'm gonna hold on to those ratty old clothes and appliances for a while. I know a guy who's willing to pay top dollar for all those panties you never got around to washing. Oh, God. Ugh, that's too gross. I agree. If you ever find enough cash to get your key back, your stuff will be waiting for you. Oh, who am I kidding? A deadbeat like you paying rent? Don't make me laugh. Oh, yeah, before I forget, when I was in there cleaning the place up for showings, I came across something I think you probably want to hold on to. You know, to remind you of the days before your life turned to absolute shit. <laughs> Good luck, deadbeat. What an asshole. I'm not going to miss that guy. Well, let's see what's in the mail today. A wedding invitation? 
We're getting married. Join us in the historical, the historic faith chapel for a nice celebration as we join hands in holy matrimony and say our vows. I'm actually going to pause right now. Or I'm going to save. I'm going to do this all and then I'm going to save it. I didn't know it would be this long. What the fuck is this, Nina? You're with... Out me, not even a year, and you've already moved on? More than that, you're getting married? It's at the end of the month? Jesus Christ, Nina. No, I can't get angry. I can't get upset. We broke up. She can do whatever she wants. No. Nope. Where the hell would you invite me, though? To San Brando, no less. I love that the place, but god damn, that's cold. Are you testing me? What do you want? Well, at least my check's finally here. I could do with some extra cash right now. You open the letter from Larry, you receive your check. What? 250? What the hell, Larry? This thing was supposed to be thousands. Something's gone really, really, really wrong here. I need to give Larry a call pronto. I need that money. Without it, there's no way I'll be able to get it to her in time before the wedding. Shit, things are going wrong all over the place. What are you doing? Just give Larry a call? No. Okay, we're calling Larry now. Hello, hello? Larry Hunter speaking. What the hell, Larry? I thought we had a deal. What the fuck happened? Hey, Dominique. I've been expecting your call. 250? Who the hell can live off that? What happened to the rest of my money, Larry? You know the contract you signed for us that that said we could pay you so long as you produce us a book? That little paperback you were supposed to finish drafting years ago, ages ago? Is it ringing any bells? Well, that contract states that if the guy upstairs aren't happy with the output, they'll, they can call the plug. I guess they're exercising their rights. Come on, I'm almost done, I promise. Just give me another week. We did that like 20 times already. I hate to say it, kid, but you were a bad pick. I made a mistake, and now my ass is roasting just as much as yours is right now. My ass isn't roasting, it's goddamn freezing. I slept in a fucking alleyway last night, Larry. Shit, I'm sorry to hear that, Dominique. You understand this is a business, though, right? We don't just hand out money to every aspiring author who thinks they can t they've got what it takes. We place bets on our your potential. The guys upstairs said I made a bad bet and decided that enough was enough. I'm sorry, but even if I wasn't pissed that you just put my career in jeopardy with your laziness, there's nothing I can do about it. So what now? What do you mean? We're done. I had to fight to get you the check you're holding now, Dominique. And there's nothing left for you. No, that can't be it. Please, for the love of God, don't do this. I need the money. I need to get to San Verando. San Verando? What the hell are you gonna do all the way across the country? Nina's getting married. Ah, it's all starting to make sense now. You really miss her, huh? Alright, fine. I'll help you out. I'm a sucker for a good romantic story. But you've got to make this count. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. What's the deal, Larry? Tell me and I'll do it. Get on the next bus out of Dubstown and come meet me in Beaton. I've got an odd job I need someone to help me take care of. You can stay at my place for a bit if you need to, but you're going to have to get out of here on your own. It's on the way to San Brando, and I know you don't have the money for a flight, so don't even bitch to me about that. What's the catch? That journal of yours, the one you write in every day, night before you go to bed, at the end of this month, I want it. Whatever's in there, I'm salvaging and turning it into something we can sell, even if I have to type it all out myself. Belinda's going to lose her shit if I lose this job, and you already owe me plenty. Fine, that's fair enough, I guess. I'll keep writing in the journal, and you'll get it at the end of the month. We can do that. Great, then we've got a deal. Except for one glaring problem, Larry. I don't have any money for a bus ticket. Damn it, do I have to do everything for you? Sorry, I didn't mean to lose my temper. I'll make a few calls after you hang up. By the time you finish breakfast, there should be some work for you. Patrick over by the Daily News Times is always on the lookout for decent freelancers, and we and we go way back, so any recommendation I give is golden. High Rung Aid Ad Agency used to do our marketing, but I heard through their grapevine they're a bit of in a jam after losing their lead copywriter. I'll set up both meetings for you. Just go wherever you'd like and do a good job. Don't make me regret this. Don't worry, I won't. See you in a few days. Wow, so I'm supposed to make... This is only, like... 
This is only day two! Am I really supposed to... Do... Wow! That's a lot of days. But it's fun! I'm enjoying myself! Nina, why did you have to do that? You're so cute! Anyway, so that ends this episode, and I'll continue this in another part. I'm having a lot of fun with this. I... I probably do a day an episode, unless that ends up being like, uh... No, I'll just do an episode a day, unless like the days end up being shorter. You know? So, anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like, share, subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do. The choice is yours. There'll be a link in the description below if you guys should check out my Patreon. and help support my channel, my artwork, and my artwork also help support this channel. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye!